Hello and welcome to Prime at 9. I'm Esther. These are the headlines. The Naga Students Federation held a massive rally in Kohima to demand justice for the December 4th Tiru ambush victims and repeal for the controversial AFSPA. The Federation submitted a memorandum to Prime Minister Narendra Modi to the state's governor. The Health Ministry informed that there are 101 Omicron variant cases in 11 states in India. The sender warned that 19 districts are at high risk of a surge in COVID-19 cases. A Karnataka Congress leader's egregious enjoy rape comments have triggered outrage. The Congress said it disapproved of the highly objectionable and insensitive banter in the Assembly. The BJP has announced that the party will be forming an alliance with Amarinder Singh's newly formed party Punjab Lok Congress. Amarinder Singh said that he is 101% sure that the alliance will win in Punjab. <clears throat> now for the news in details. Thousands of people took to the streets of the state capital today to demand justice for the victims of Mon District, where in the Tiru ambush and repeal of the Armed Forces Special Powers Act. In a massive people's rally organized by the Naga Students Federation at Old MLA Hostel Junction in Kohima, speeches were delivered by the Yangami Public Organization, Professor Rosemary Javici, Eastern Naga Students Federation, Northeast Students Organization, Global Naga Forum, Naga People's Movement for Human Rights and Forum for Naga Reconciliation. ...to the family members of our dear departed souls whose lives were brutally massacred. We offer our sincere respect and honor in memory of the precious souls. Their death will not be in vain. We the Naga youths and the upcoming generation shall continue to honor their memories by carrying forward the aspirations of the Naga people through generations and generations to come. Today's rally has been called to voice out the resentment of the Nagas against the Dragonian and Oppressive Armed Forces Special Power Act. The Federation demands that the government of India set up a court monitored committee to be headed by the retired Supreme Court or High Court judge in order to ensure that the Odin incidents are propped in a fair and impartial manner. More so, the government of India must admit to the utter failure of its intelligence agencies and publicly apologize to the Naga people for furthering their subjugation of the Naga Nagas through its policy of militarization. We shall not rest until justice is delivered. I, on behalf of the Angami public organizations, stands before you with a heavy heart. I would also like to make it loud and clear that if new that if New Delhi does not consider or treat, treat us as a good citizens of the country, then leave us alone. Keeping in mind the interests of the Naga people, I would like to make a clarion call to all the Nagas within the state and outside the state to come together so that we embark towards a new beginning. Thank you. Good morning. The NSF has submitted a representation to the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, demanding justice for the victims killed by paratroopers in Mon District and revocation of the Armed Forces Special Powers Act 1950. The NSF organized a rally demanding repeal of the draconian law on December 17 in Kohima. 
in the representation, the NSF listed a number of demands besides mentioning a number of incidents of atrocities stated to have been committed by the Indian military on the Naga people in the past. First of all, on behalf of Northeast Student Organization, the attack on innocent Nagas in Oting village is not an attack on Nagas alone. We treat it as an attack on the indigenous people of Northeastern region. And I like to tell that Nagas are not alone. The indigenous people of seven states, Northeastern region, are out Nagas. That's a strong solidarity message on behalf of the indigenous people of seven states. I would like to warn the central government, the Prime Minister of the country, Home Minister of the country, Defence Minister of the country, don't think that Nagas are alone. The seven states are with the Nagas. This is a warning to the central government from the soil of this Kovina, this from the soil of this northeastern region, that all these indigenous people of seven states are with Nagas. <laughs> On behalf of Northeast Student Organization, we have started the movement throughout Northeast to repeal ASPA. So we are here to express our solidarity. The central government, they must change their mindset. They don't think there is a country beyond Calcutta. We like to tell them, we also like to live like a good citizen. Don't treat us like second class citizen. We don't tolerate this type of attitude on the part of the government of India. They must change their mindset. And to show their sincerity, they must give exemplary punishment to those Indian army who have killed the innocent Nagas in voting millions. They must withdraw ASPA from whole of Nortis. Till ASPA is withdrawn from whole of Nortis, we'll continue our moment till we get justice. That's very clear. If you want more life, I am the first to give my life to repeal ASPA. It's a strong message to the government of India. Solution. Solution. We firmly appeal to the United Nations and world leaders to caution India's track record of human rights violations and crimes against humanity and the Naga homeland in the last more than seven decades. As we continue to mourn the dead. The Global Naga Forum will be forwarding our voting fact-finding mission report to expert mechanism channels and the United The NSF demanded immediate justice for the victims of the Mon killings and justice for all pending cases related to excesses committed by the Indian military on the Naga people. The Federation then demanded immediate revocation of the AFSPA, stating that the prevailing law and other situation in the Naga inhabited areas does not merit the act which the NSF said has been used as a tool for psychological warfare against the Naga people. Another demand that the Federation made to the Prime Minister was for expediting a solution to the Naga political issue. The people long for a peaceful future, a future without war and conflict, another statement from the NSF said. The people long to live in peace and be at par with the rest of the world, it stated. The Supreme Court on Friday put a one-week deadline for states and union territories to clear the backlog of claims for providing ex gratia compensation for debts due to COVID-19 and sought information from the Delhi government and states of Chhattisgarh and Karnataka on the progress achieved with regard to receiving applications and releasing payment under the same scheme. The court, while monitoring the implementation of its order passed on June 30 and October 4, directing Rs 50,000 compensation for COVID-19 debts, noticed that some states were slack in Im implementing its orders and that it required wide publicity without the scheme and payments to be made immediately to the beneficiary families of the deceased. However, with regard to Delhi, Chhattisgarh and Karnataka, the information was not available as no notice was issued in this regard. The Omicron variant of the coronavirus is spreading rapidly. There are now 101 cases in 11 states in India. The health ministry informed this on Friday, warning that 19 districts were at a high risk of a surge in COVID-19 cases. 
Faced with the threat of a third wave of infections, the ministry underlined the need to follow COVID-appropriate behavior, including the use of face masks and maintaining social distance. The ministry also urged people to avoid non-essential travel and stay away from large crowds and gatherings. Renewed warnings of the dangers posed by Omicron come as 10 new cases were reported from Delhi earlier in the day. The city has now 22 confirmed Omicron cases. The 10 new cases were reported after a worrying spike in overall COVID cases in the city over the previous 24 hours. 85 were detected, up from 57 on Thursday and 45 on Wednesday. Maharashtra was worst hit by earlier waves of infections, has so far recorded the most Omicron cases, which is 32. Rajasthan is next with 17 and Karnataka and Telangana have reported 8 each. Gujarat, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Bengal and Andhra Pradesh have also reported cases of the new variant. You apologize, sir. You apologize for the statement that you made. You apologize, sir. Will you apologize for the statement that you made, Mr. Ramesh Kumar? The people, the women in India are demanding. You made a statement yesterday. Do you apologize, sir? Do you apologize for the statement that you made? Do you apologize, sir? Will you apologize for the statement that you made, Mr. Ramesh Kumar? The people, the women in India are demanding. A Karnataka Congress leader's egregious enjoy rape comments have triggered outrage all the way to Delhi. Congress MLA K.R. Ramesh Kumar, who has apologized in the Assembly and on Twitter, has embarrassed his party, which faced criticism in and outside Parliament. The Congress MLA made the comment during a discussion on farmers in the Karnataka Assembly yesterday. In a clamor among members to have their say, the Speaker wondered how he could run the session if every MLA was given time to speak. Will you apologize for the statement that you made, Mr. Ramesh Kumar? The people, the women in India are demanding. Union Women and Child Development Minister Smriti Irani raised it in Parliament when she was interrupted by opposition protests over Central Minister Ajay Mishra, whose son is accused of running over farmers. When protesting, MPs blocked her with player cards. While she was speaking, Smriti Irani hit out at the Congress. Outside Parliament, the Congress said it disapproved of the highly objectionable and insensitive banter in the Assembly and also included Karnataka Speaker Vishweshwar Hegde Kageri in its condemnation. Congress party disapproves of the exchange of highly objectionable and insensitive banter between Karnataka Assembly Speaker and Senior Congress MLA in the House. BJP state in charge Kajendra Singh Shekhawat on Friday announced that his party will be forming an alliance with Amarinder Singh's newly formed party in Punjab, the Punjab Lok Congress, for the upcoming assembly elections slated for 2022. The announcement came after Shekhawat held a meeting with Amarinder earlier today in the national capital. After seven rounds of talks, Today, he confirmed that BJP and Punjab Lok Congress are going to fight the upcoming Punjab Assembly elections together. Topics like seat sharing will be discussed later. Speculations were rife about a possible alliance between both parties for a long time. Meanwhile, Amarinder Singh said that he is 101% sure that the alliance will win in Punjab. He said that they are ready and they are going to win the elections. The decision on seat sharing will be taken on the seat-to-seat -seat basis with winnability being the priority. Ziliangrong and Lakeview colonies have been declared as the cleanest colonies in Dimapur. The announcement was made during the award function come annual get-together organized by the Dimapur Municipal Council in collaboration with Team Better Dimapur. The DMC Administrator Albert Izung in his speech lauded the Team Better Dimapur for their contribution in making Dimapur a cleaner city. Speaking about working together, he said that they cannot depend on the government alone to bring change but the public has contributed on their part as well. Let us get more details from our reporter, Kekre Sinyo Kyo. The cleanest colony competition award 2021 our team better Dimapur Kanla annual meet 
আর জিতা হান এটু ক্লিনেস কলোনি লা এটু এওয়ার্ড এনাউন্স করেছে তো এই কেটেগরিজ দুইটারে ডিভাইড করেছে বিগ কলোনি আর স্মল কলোনি তো বিগ কলোনি রে কন জিটিছে কলে জেলং রং কলোনি হান ফার্স্ট পাইছে সেকেন্ড তো সেমা টিলা আর থার্ড তো ইউ এন বি এ বি খান জিটিছে আর স্মল কলোনি রে তো উইনার তো কন আছে কলে লেগ ভিউ কলোনি আর সেকেন্ড তো রিভার বেল্ট কলোনি আর থার্ড তো আইল্যান্ড কলোনি নিয়া থাকছে তো ফার্স্ট প্রাইজ তো ওয়ান লেগ আছে সেকেন্ড প্রাইজ তো ফিফটি থাউজেন্ড আর থার্ড প্রাইজ তো তাহান টুয়েন্টি থাউজেন্ড ইনা কইনে ক্যাশ এওয়ার্ড বি তাহান জিতিয়া হাঙ্গে দিছে the goal the goal for doing something good to the society uh, that has been a, a driving force for its members and they have been like i said they have been uh, very proactively involved in so many uh, activities and to mobilize community participation we also cannot just always go and talk to them and expect a positive result. But something has to be done. And in that connection, this Cleaners Colony Competition Initiative has been uh, undertaken. And it is also one way uh, to not only promote cleanliness, but also to promote the awareness about the importance of cleanliness and about the importance of community participation and to promote social responsibility. So this quality, cleanest quality competition has been a, a grand success for this past uh, many years. And after initiating this drive, I think uh, we can see a lot of positive changes in the colonies. Moi reporter Kye Krisi Nyo Kye Hua with camera person Kye Tholeno for Hornbill TV. In Tamil local news, the Nagaland Film Association has announced the first Nagaland Film Awards 2021. NFA La Chairman Kashito Kiba informed that the award ceremony has been scheduled for December 28. He said the aim of the event is to promote Naga local films. Let's have a look at the detailed report. Nagalinde film panamano short films, documentaries, full films, punai gina thakado bishi saluje. Holibi, there should be somebody or some. Uh, union or association or body to recognize the achievements of those people it don't care recognize kuruba lage goina individually film panai thaga to bishi sal hoise etu bra amen pabigena bishi thoroli etu pabigena nagaland film association to ek bar to form kuruba lagebo goina discuss korigena after decades of discussion bishi sal discuss korigena pabigena Nagaland Film Association to 2019 Bright Film Kurisi. Come forward and join Nagaland Film Association to work together and to make Nagaland a film industry best. Palato NL TV, Hornbill TV, to come to Thakaneto, Ita Ayasado, Itu Nisna Moikami, the film industry, Taniase. Titu Amibi Trikuras, Nagaland, Janibolage, and Naga film be Asukena, Nagala industry Asukena, it will be Janibolage. Asamis film ita sibu kwanis na Asamis Manipuri kiman be age jaise ara ami kanto ita bi piche ase so manu kanto banai ase film ala ala production tana holi bi first to jiman bi ami kan banai lebi dang screen bi banai lebi first to ami kan ekta cinema hall ekta pabo lage ti tahi promote hobo jiman bi actor actress ase itu ami kan jiman bi banai lebo ago film cinema hall te na lagibo to kina hoi na promote hobe itu film to itu kane ইতো আমি খান বানা পিছেতে সিনেমা হল বি একটা শো হলি বি পাইলে বি তো কম্পিটিশন আই যাব আলাদা আলাদা পজিশন বি ওলাব মই বি একটা বানাব আব ইতা আজি আমি খান ফিল্ম আওয়ার্ড করে আছে তো আওয়ার্ড করে আছে তো ফিল্ম তো পজিশন বানা তো বেশি মানু খান আছে লিভিন ইতা হি জানিব ইতো দিন তো কি মান মানু আই আছে নেক্সট স্টেপ তো আমি খান আহা সাল তে একটা মুভি বানাব ভাবনা করে আছে একটা ভাল মুভি কিলে মুভি তো আপনি খান বি সাইজ না কামিস কোনো তো মানু কান না এ ছি নাগামিজ কি কাম করবো না ফিল মানে বলিউডে কাম করব সব বলিউড লাগা ভাবনা করে আর ফার্স্ট তো সাবি না পেলে নিজে স্টেটে পেলে কাম করি না তো বলিউডে যাবি নিজে পেহচান পেলে ডিমাপুরতে বাড়াবি নাগালেন্ডে লা পেহচান বানাবি আজি মুন্না ভাই কলে সব মানুষ জানে মুন্না ভাই ও চুলি লম্বা বেশি ভাগ তো চুলি লম্বা বি কয় তো ইতু নাম পড়া তো ইটা তো বলিউডে বি মানুষ জানিব তো প্রাইম মিনিস্টার নরেন্দ্র মোদি অন ফ্রাইডে টুক পার্ট ইন দ্য 
to address the All India Mayors Conference in Uttar Pradesh's Varanasi via video conferencing. A total of 120 mayors from several states participated in the conference. In his address, the Prime Minister said that developments in Varanasi, also known as Kashi, can become a road map for the development of the entire country. मेरी काशी में मैं आप सबका हृदय से बहुत बहुत स्वागत करता हूं मेरे लिए ये बहुत ही सौभाग्य का अवसर होता कि मैं स्वयं वहां रह करके मेरी काशी में मैं आपका स्वागत करता आपका सम्मान करता लेकिन समय की कुछ सीमाओं के कारण मैं खुद तो वहां नहीं रह करके आपका स्वागत कर पा रहा हूं लेकिन मुझे पक्का विश्वास है काशी वासियों ने आपकी मेहमान नवाजी में कोई कमी नहीं रखी होगी the left MPs were seen protesting in solidarity with the national strike of bank employees. Suspended MPs and other members of the parliament protested outside in the parliament premises against privatization and mer merger of plans of public sector banks. To facilitate privatization, the government has listed the banking laws for introduction and passage during the current session of parliament. The government has already privatized IDBI Bank by selling its majority stake in the lender to LIC in 2019 and merged 14 public sector banks in the past four years. Are suppressed and even suspended 12 members in, last, uh, in, the, in the beginning of this session. <coughs> Very unfortunate first thing is, so far, government or chairman has not convened a meeting of all parties to discuss this issue. Today he announced, you please settle this issue and have a meeting in between uh, ruling uh, party leaders and opposition party leaders. It should have been done much earlier. That is the beauty of the democracy. That is not maintained in the house. So we thought it should be reflected to the people outside the parliament. That is why we have done this. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday met 40 Bhartiya Janata Party MPs from Uttar Pradesh over breakfast in Delhi. BJP's National President J.P. Nadda and senior leaders from the organization were also present at the meeting, which took place at 7 Lok Kalyan Marg, the official residence of the Prime Minister. Modi, BJP MPs and other leaders discussed the party's strategy, organizational program and poll campaign for the upcoming assembly elections. Uttar Pradesh, the country's most populous and politically crucial state, is slated to go to the polls early next year along with four other states, Uttarakhand, Punjab, Manipur and Goa. Barring Punjab, the BJP is in power in all four states. Today's meeting comes days after Prime Minister Modi inaugurated the Kashi Vishwanath Corridor in Varanasi, also his parliamentary constituency. During his visit to Varanasi, the Prime Minister had also chaired a meeting with 12 chief ministers from BJP ruled states. French Defence Minister Florence Parley inspected Guard of Honour in New Delhi on December 17. She was accompanied by India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh. French Minister is on an official visit to India to strengthen the Indo-French strategic and defence ties.
That's all for the news. I'm Esther. Keep watching Hornbill TV.